Today, I am going to explain action and thriller movie The Foreigner, released in the year 2017. A man's last child is killed in a terrorist attack. To get justice for his daughter, he decides to fight against the great powers. But before we begin to tell you this amazing story, please make sure to subscribe our channel so that you are updated with all the new exciting movie recaps we release in the coming weeks, and beware of the spoilers. The movie begins with Kwan Ngak Min, who is a London citizen. He picks up his daughter Fan from school, and then takes her to the market at Fan's request to buy a dress for the school party that night. Kwan can't find a parking spot, so Fan rushes to the shop to buy her dress. Then a person parks his bike in front of the shop. Kwan finds an empty space in the parking lot while he is parking his car. Another person wants to park his car in the same parking lot, causing both of their cars to collide and both drivers getting out of the car. Before they can talk about it, there is a loud explosion. Many people die at the same time and many are injured. Kwan is also badly injured, but he worries for Fan. The news station receives a call from an unknown man who identifies himself as the authentic IRA and claims responsibility for the blast. When people gather at the crime scene and news reporters also arrive at the scene, a news reporter, Ian Wood, is taking pictures of the victims. Through his camera lens, he sees Kwan inside the shop holding Fan's body and crying. The scene shifts to some Irish men who are in an apartment watching the news. These are the bombers, and a man approaches them and tells them to refrain from any movement. Irish Deputy Minister Liam Hennessy is with his girlfriend Maggie when he receives a call from his wife, Mary Hennessy. Mary is very worried and tells him about the bomb accident. Liam then talks to Catherine Davies and asks her about it. He then goes to his office, holds a meeting with his committee members, and orders them to find the bombers as soon as possible. Liam also tells them that maybe one of them is responsible for all of this. Kwan, on the other hand, is deeply saddened by the loss of his last family member, and his grief never ends. Kwan wants Fan's killers to be punished at all costs, so he tries to meet with Commander Richard Bromley. Noticing Kwan's persistence, Commander Richard eventually meets him. Kwan tries to get information about the bombers from Richard and also tries to bribe him, but Richard says he can't help him with that. Richard asks Kwan about his family. Kwan had two more daughters who were killed in a pirate attack on their way to London and Kwan's wife died giving birth to Fan. Fan was his only child and last family member. Richard apologizes to Kwan for not coming here often because it distracts him and disrupts the work. While watching the news, Kwan sees an interview of Liam Hennessy, after which he calls Liam's office to talk to him. Liam tells Kwan that he doesn't know anything about the bombers, but Kwan doesn't believe him because he's the Irish deputy minister and a powerful figure. Kwan then makes some changes to his van and buys some supplies. Kwan owns a restaurant, so he gives it to his friend Lam and leaves for Belfast. He books a room there and then goes to Liam's office to meet him. But Liam's secretary gets him out with the help of a security guard. Meanwhile, Liam arrives and talks to Kwan. Kwan shows Liam a newspaper clipping that says Liam is proud to be a member of the IRA. That is, Liam belonged to the IRA. But Liam tells him that it was all in his past, and in the present, he is just a civil servant who wants to make peace. Kwan requests that he tell him about the bombers, but Liam replies that he doesn't know anything about them. Kwan then goes to the bathroom and takes out matches, cigarettes, and two soda bottles from the things he brought there to make a makeshift bomb and leaves after lighting a cigarette. Shortly after this, an explosion occurs. Liam knows this is Kwan's job. He gets a call from Kwan, who demands to know the names of the bombers. Liam sends four of his men to look for Kwan, and soon the men arrive at Kwan's apartment. Earlier, Kwan escaped from their hands, but they caught him. Kwan beats all four of them and runs away. Liam is also under a lot of pressure from the British government. He himself wants to find the bombers as soon as possible because the bombers are going to attack again and many lives are at risk. Liam summons his nephew, C. Morrison, and sends him to London to speak with Commander Richard. Liam is starting to feel threatened by Kwan now that Kwan is constantly spying on him. He has taken pictures of Liam and Maggie and trying to threaten him. So, Liam shifts to the farmhouse with Mary and makes security arrangements around the farmhouse. 
Liam and his guards believe that they are safe here, but contrary to what they think, Quan follows them and ends up in a nearby forest. He hides his car. At night, Quan evades the guards. He goes to the farmhouse and plants a bomb in the horse stable. As soon as the bomb explodes, everyone gathers there. Liam tells McCormick, one of his men, to get more men from Belfast. Maggie, on the other hand, meets Ian at a bar and tries to form a relationship with him. The next morning, Liam wants to send Mary back, but before he can, Quan detonates one of Liam's cars with a bomb, injuring one of Liam's men. According to McCormick, the bomb was detonated by remote control and Quan must be hiding in the nearby woods. McCormick goes there with his men, but Quan has already set a trap for them. He keeps trapping all the men in his net one by one. McCormick shoots and wounds Quan, but Quan manages to escape. McCormick returns unsuccessfully and advises Liam to call Seam for help as he knows the woods well and can find Quan. When Seam visits Mary in London, he gets a call from Liam, who tells him that he agrees to all of Richard's demands. He also tells Seam that he has distributed separate codes among his men. Whoever uses the code will be responsible for the next explosion. He then tells Seam about Quan and asks for his help in capturing Quan. Seen also discusses all this with Mary. Mary tells him that Liam is too old to make decisions anymore. The people who killed Mary's brother six years ago are still alive because of Liam, and she can never forgive Liam for that. In the forest, Quan uses a hot knife to heal his wound. Due to the intensity of the pain, he becomes unconscious for a while and recalls his past memory when the pirates attacked him and took away his two daughters. After that, Liam searches Quan's history on his laptop at the farmhouse, revealing that he is a retired U.S. Special Forces soldier. McCormick then approaches Liam and tells him that Hugh has come to see him. Hugh is angry with Liam for investigating him, and the investigation reveals that 10 kilos of Semtex used in the bomb are missing from Hugh. Hugh fears that he will be ruined if the council finds out. There is an argument between them regarding this issue, and tension is created in the environment. Liam doesn't want to give up on Hu under any circumstances. Hu leaves and tells Liam not to tell the council committee about Semtex and that he will stay at his farmhouse. At night, Liam calls his dog Charlie, but he doesn't answer. Liam goes to check on him because he thinks Charlie is dead. He then sees his gun missing from the drawer. Quan targets Liam there and threatens to detonate his bomb if he makes noise. He tells Liam that Charlie is just sleeping, not dead. He asks Liam the names of the bombers, which Liam doesn't really know. Liam tells him he doesn't know. He tells Quan that he has set up a plan so that if the next bomb goes off, he will find out about the bombers. Quan gives him 24 hours and leaves. The next day, Maggie gets off a double-decker bus and leaves with a man on a black motorcycle. This man is one of the Irish bombers. As they leave, the bus explodes, killing many people. This time, the bombers don't use the code, and this comes as a shock to everyone. The next day, Seen arrives at the farmhouse and goes alone into the woods to find Quan. Liam doesn't want to give up on Hu under any circumstances. Hu leaves and tells Liam not to tell the council committee about Semtex and that he will stay at his farmhouse. The next day, Seen arrives at the farmhouse and goes alone into the woods to find Quan. Sheen tells Quan that he has the names and addresses of all the bombers on his cell phone. Quan gets the information, so he lets Seen go. Seen returns to the farmhouse and meets Liam. Liam informs Seen that the bombers didn't use the code after they blew up the bus. It seems like someone warned them about it and that only Seen and Liam knew about it. But Seen says he didn't tell anyone about it. Liam tells him that he sent Christy to London to keep an eye on Mary. Hearing this, Seen apologizes to Liam, but Liam asks him what he discussed with Mary. Seen says that Mary was just disturbed about her brother. When Seen was talking to Liam on the phone, Mary overheard him, and she thought that changing the codes would not solve Liam's problem. Hearing this, Liam tells Seen that Mary has used Seen to extract information. He orders Seen to dispose of Hu's body, and says that after that, Seen has to do Liam's last job before returning to New York. After Richard gets the names of the bombers, he locates their hideout, and the bombers are surrounded. Quan also arrives there and enters their house disguised as a plumber. 
While the bombers are checking his luggage, they find a rifle in it, and Quan attacks them. There are also civilians in the building, due to which the police cannot react quickly. Quan kills all the bombers and leaves before the police arrive. Sarah survives but is badly injured by the bullet. The police question Sarah about the next bomb, but she doesn't tell. The police give Sarah an electric shock to get information out of her, and she finally reveals that the bomb was planted in Ian's laptop. The police arrive at the airport in time, and Ian's laptop is taken away from him. Richard doesn't want loose ends anyway, so he orders Sarah to be killed. Ian is left out because he was just a pawn and had nothing to do with it all. Lion gets a call from Catherine, and she thanks him for his timely notification that saved her life because Catherine was also going to be on the same flight as Ian. But she also tells him that Sarah is related to Liam, so now he will be closely monitored. Quan approaches Liam, who has completely admitted defeat. He forces him to post a picture of him and Sarah on the internet. Liam is forced to do so. Seam visits Mary and, without saying anything, shoots her in the head, which is Seen's last task. Quan then returns to his restaurant, having accomplished his goal. An agent is keeping an eye on Quan. He informs Richard of Quan's return and asks if he should send a team to arrest him, but Richard forbids him, telling him to just keep an eye on Quan. Lam happily kisses and hugs Quan when she sees him at the restaurant. Overall, The Foreigner is a great movie to watch with an amazing storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this, don't forget to subscribe, as that's the only way we can keep making these fantastic recaps and like this video. Let us know in the comments section about your next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching.